what's up i'm troubleshoot welcome back to another video in this one i'll show you how to use the updated version of un discord but before we do begin in the description down below you'll find videos where i go far more into depth on this topic this is purely just an update giving you a really quick crash course before we begin there's a few things i need to say you can delete your messages but you can't delete other people's messages unless it's in a server where you have roles and permission to do so you can delete private messages and private group chat messages sent by you as well as messages in servers as long as you have the roles or permissions to do so you can delete your own messages at any time this program won't steal your token or account as long as you get it from the official source and you can change your password right after using it to make sure your account is secure should you be afraid this project is open source so everything it does can be viewed by you or anyone for that matter and this is technically against discord's tos but they have historically not banned anyone for this as far as i know and with good enough reasons its use should be more than understandable for anyone reasonable without further ado let's go ahead and begin in the description down below you'll find a link to the undiscord github page here we'll get some information on installing it and using it. All we need to do is first install a browser extension that allows us to install and use this user script. There's many different options here for Chrome or a Chromium based browser. I'd recommend using Tampa Monkey. When we open this, you'll see that it takes us across to the Chrome Web Storm. All we need to do is click Add to Chrome or Add to Brave or whatever you're using. When you've done so, you should then see it appear in your extensions bar. Obviously, you can pin it here to get quick access to it. When you've done so, scroll down a little bit and there'll be two links where we can get this script from. I'd recommend choosing Greasy Fork as it should be more up to date. When we head across here, you'll see Install this script. Simply click it, then we'll be taken across to the plugin page telling us exactly what it is. If we scroll down, you'll see the entire source code for this. Should you be curious, absolutely everything that this does is available here. It's completely transparent. Scrolling up to the very, very top, you'll see install over here. Simply click this and the script should now be installed in your browser ready for use. All we need to do here is open Discord in our browser, not the app, and go to the channel you'd like to delete messages in. Heading to Discord, I'll open up private messages with my alt account here, where I'd like to delete all of these messages I sent recently and all of the ones into the past. All we need to do is click the trash button in the extreme top right of our screen. When we do so, we'll see the Undiscord menu here. Notice, Undiscord may be working slower than usual and require multiple attempts due to recent Discord updates. We're working on a fix and we thank you for your patience. This script used to be pretty fast, then it got a bit slower when Discord implemented some limitations, but now it may be running even slower. Regardless, leaving it going overnight or over multiple days to clear everything in a specific chat if you've been incredibly active is definitely something you can do. Just leave your PC on, make sure it doesn't fall asleep, and it'll keep running in the background. So I'm in a private chat here with my alt account and I want to delete my messages. All we need to do is click me for author ID and it'll fill in our user ID here. If you'd like to delete someone else's message in a channel that you have permissions, simply right click their name and choose copy user ID. That's what you can paste in here. But I want to delete my messages. Do note, once again, in private chats, you can only delete your messages and in Discord servers, you can only delete other people's messages if you have the role to do so. Then server ID and channel ID, just click current for one of them and they should both fill in as whatever window you currently have open will be detected and filled in here. Then if it's an NSFW channel, tick this box here, but this one isn't. Wipe archive is a specific extra edition, but I'll get here later on. Filter, we can search for and only delete messages containing specific text. We can delete messages that only have links, only have files or are pinned. Pattern, if you know regular expressions, you can enter one here to search in a different way than just a normal plain text search. Then message interval, we can choose between whichever messages we'd like to delete. So for example, maybe this one here and this one, all we need to do is right click and choose copy message ID and paste it in after. Now everything after this message here will be deleted. We can set a limit and delete to maybe here, copy message ID and paste it in before. You can also do the same with date interval to delete between two specific dates instead. Advanced settings we don't really need to worry about, we can adjust 
adjust the search and delete delay should you be getting limitations from Discord, but leaving it long enough should be fine. Finally, the authorization token. You can usually leave this blank, but if you're getting some kind of error, you may need to fill it in. Click the help button here for more information. It'll take you across to the GitHub page here where we learn about this. The authorization token. Normally, you shouldn't need to do this unless the automatic mode isn't working. And if someone's asking you for this token, you're about to be hacked. More info here. Here's the information on how to grab your authorization token and enter it, though don't share it with anyone. We don't need to fill this in, so I'll just close advanced settings and delete messages between here and here as we filled in the message interval here. So delete, we'll need to confirm it. I'll click OK, and only these two messages between them will be deleted. OK, just like that, one, two, the messages are now gone. It's that quick. Instead of deleting between messages, let's just take out this interval, minimize it, and delete all of my messages in this channel. So I'll stop deletion process and start it once more. This time, confirming again, it should delete all of our messages in this channel slowly but surely. You can uncheck streamer mode should you like to show information about what's being deleted where in case you're not entirely sure. Also, you don't really need it turned on unless someone's looking over your shoulder or you're streaming, of course, and you're trying to delete messages without telling anyone around you or watching your screen. Anyways, now that it's done, I can stop it and that's really it. We've deleted all of our messages here. Should you want to delete all of the messages, you can take out author ID and just click delete. Then it'll tell you all of the messages that it'll delete. But obviously, as we're in a private chat, I don't have permission to delete the other person's messages, so it won't be able to do anything. I'll stop it here. That's really about it. The wipe archive is a little bit different. You can request your data from Discord under the GDPR rules. They'll send you a zip file in a few days, and upon downloading it, it'll contain absolutely everything that you've done on Discord pretty much ever. There's a JSON file inside of it called index.json that contains a list of every message you've sent to every server and every channel. Should you want, you can drop it in here by clicking Choose File, selecting the index.json file from the Messages folder, and when you do so, it should be able to delete all of your messages everywhere across multiple channels, multiple servers, etc. It's very powerful and useful, especially if you want to remove all traces of yourself, all of your messages, before you delete your Discord account, it's a good thing to do. If you choose to delete your account rather, just remember that all of your messages will remain indefinitely, only your picture and username will be removed from Discord after a short while. So it's a very good idea to delete your own messages before you delete your own account should you want complete privacy and the right to be forgotten. Anyways, that's about it for this quick guide. Should you want more detail on how this program worked, you'll find other videos linked in the description down below from the past. This has been the updated Discord guide, money's been troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!